Stop what you are doing. Give me just eight minutes of your time and attention to tell you where the Bitcoin price is heading. I'm going to go over some wave scenarios, smaller time frame that I believe is occurring and uh, where to get into trades to catch this pipe up to the upside towards all time high. That is where I think we are going, guys. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to hop right into this. Um, I have us on the eight hour time frame right now. Um, from an Elliott Wave point of view, I'm an Elliott Wave trader. Stick with me. You will learn Elliott Wave. I promise you, you need to know this stuff. I have a WXY correction to the downside on Bitcoin. We hit perfect targets around 48K. And I believe we have pretty much bottomed out here. And we're going towards all-time high. If you watched my last video, I said, you know, when we got this bounce, you want to be in this long. Um, and as we zoom in, it looks like we are going to try to put in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 impulsive wave to come up bust the high head up to our 74 to 78 K region at least um, that's where I'm looking and then and then rejection ultimately just liquidity sweep and then come back down I don't think this is gonna pipe up and uh, just blast through have a blow off top that's that's how I'm playing it but we're gonna examine the smaller time frame stuff here and stick with me um, we're gonna go over two different scenarios that you can hop into trades on and you can you can catch um so you know now that we have the big picture out of the way just a quick summary of that let's let's hop into the smaller time frames this is just the 30 minute chart on bitcoin guys um and really it's just zoomed in on this main structure here this this bottom structure and the impulsive move to the upside that we're looks like we're in um so the first count I want to go over is this one right here where it looks like there's five waves that are put in. We have reached our 2618 of pretty much our 2618 of our wave one, two that we put in. So we are in this zone. Um, you know, can it creep up a little higher? Sure, it can. But ultimately what I am looking for is a nice ABC correction to the downside. And, you know, catching a short up here, it's tough. What you really want to do is catch this B wave on a retrace of a nice impulsive move down. But shorting here, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Catch a nice short down. Come and break this trend line that we put in. I'm looking to bust through this trend line. There's plenty of liquidity under here. And there's plenty of liquidity under here to come and take. Uh, sweep all this liquidity out. And then we start our ascent to the upside and i need to show you a different count and a different variation of this so you know what to look out for um, but my plan going forward here is to try to hop in short if we get a nice impulsive move down some kind of a retrace i will try to short this um, and then take this down i will look to close on a break of the trend line and then re-enter short on a retrace for our abc that's just an example of how you can use Elliott Wave to trade these markets. Um, obviously, I look at more things than just that to enter my trades, um, but that's the general overview. And then I will be looking for a mega long down here around 52, 53K, mega long to go towards all time high. Let's hop into the next chart real quick. I'm gonna show you this setup. Um, so on this scenario, we have Bitcoin is ultimately this this is saying that there is not going to be an ABC retrace like this. This is not going to happen. For this case, this trend line needs to hold. And what it is is a 1 2 then we have a 1 2 of a sub degree put in right here. And now we are starting our massive three leg impulsive wave to the upside. Um, and we are pretty much putting in, we, we put in a one, two of a sub degree already, and we're just going to start impulsing and keep impulsing towards the upside. Guys, if you look at, you know, the liquidity charts, um, the fact of the matter is we'll go on the weekly. There's just more liquidity to the upside at this point. Market makers are going to go and take all this liquidity. Let's go look at the monthly and, you know, these liquidation levels aren't the end-all be-all, but it's a good determining factor as to where price is going to more likely to move towards. Um, 
as you can see, liquidity has been swept to the downside, um, and th there's liquidity lying towards all-time high. It's just the facts. So in this scenario, what are the trade setups that we could be looking to hop into? Um, before we get into that, real quick, if you want to stay up to date with my trades and what I am doing, join the free Discord linked in the description below. Um, once you're in there, this is the cleanest looking Discord around. Uh, you can upgrade here for my daily alerts, 24-7 live, Elliott Wave charts, courses. Uh, my Elliott Wave courses in here, you get a free indicator. Use the code 25 off for $25 off your first month. If you just want to check it out, give it a try. Head on into the Discord and I'll see you in there. And then lastly, um, all this is all linked in the description below. Um, Blowfin is the exchange that I use. It's what everyone's using now. It's no KYC. If you're looking to start trading or switch exchanges, if you want to go no KYC, this is the exchange. Click the link for 15% cash back on all of your deposits. It's a free 15% gain on your account. And then you get to trade up to win a Rolex. You get all these prizes just for your trading volume. So capitalize on that. Take advantage of that offer right now. Click the link in the description below. Blowfin. All right. Man, that sounded like a friggin' advertisement that was not scripted. All right. So, where are we hopping into trades on this? Now, it's tough because if this is the count, then you're you're looking at just small tiny pullbacks as this progresses up. So, you're looking to just hop in on a pullback and that's that's sketchy. Um ultimately, you need this trend line to hold. So stop losses would be placed under this trend line. Um, you would need to, by the grace of God, get some type of movement like this. And your stop loss would be under here because this would be your 1-2. So you would long here around 58K. If you get this move, if you get a move that looks like this and a nice move to the upside, you would long that stop loss around 57K. Um, and you would hope to catch just the big impulsive move to the upside. It should just move up quite swiftly if this is the move. What I am playing is not this. I am playing this right here. Um, in the Discord for the daily alerts, we did short. Um, we did short the move down, um, and I told everyone I was looking for longs here. We shorted this move down. Took profits right here. Perfect pro profit taking zone. And um, this ended up, I expected it to do something like this. This ended up just blasting through. So we do have members in there that are long from here. Um, and I suggested to stay long. See if they can just catch this wave up. Again, this might come down. Take everyone out. It's what I'm playing. And I will be looking for a heavy long in this area. Guys, if you watch the video all the way through, Smash the like button, show me some love, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, click the links, join the Discord, join everything. Um, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.